Now for a behemoth book. The DC Comics Encyclopedia Definitive Guide to All the Characters in DC Universe. All new edition. So, there's the cover. Oh, oh man, this thing is heavy. And this is from 2016. So everything up to 2016 is in this book. So, don't say I didn't warn you. Now, you're probably wondering, who, what the hell does that mean? Well, that means all the characters that are listed in this beautiful fucking index are going to get it gone over with. So, do two rows at a time. So, from Agog. Excuse me. These are all of the characters that will be in this book. And of course, pause this at any time. And you'll see where to find them. No, this is a big ass book. I mean, it's almost 400 pages, but it's, a, it's like 360. About 360 something. So I'll be doing a deep brevity run. Now you've seen my Marvel Encyclopedia review. So yeah, this is going to be a brevity run with this book because it's so big. But they're about the same. They have, you know, characters, page setups, all that. It's the same shit, just different characters, that's all. So, now you know what to expect. Some characters will have more than one entry. Not gonna lie. Some of them will have, well not more than one entry. They'll have more than one page dedicated to them. Like Gotham City's got multiples. Um... The main Justice League roster, that will have, uh, a lot of them will have multiple pages attached to them, so you know. So, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fucking fun to go through. <laughs> I've already read it. Well, leaf through it, basically, because I was just curious to see who was all in it. I would imagine that, like I've said before, down the road, probably in 2020, we'll do another big, all-new encyclopedia and shit. With, you know, it being fully updated and all that. Damn, come on, there we go. Sorry about that. So, this is a lot of fun. I like doing these book reviews. Because if you go looking for a book review, like I've said before, you get, you know, here it is four minutes in, most book reviewists, book, well, book reviewers would have it be a this that's how long the brevity video would be some four minutes where it would just show you like random screenshots of the book and they'd be like oh yeah so and so's in here so and so's in there blah blah blah's on page whatever and you know you don't get enough depth to it this is me giving you full depth pretty much eh, full access without having to pay for shit <laughs> and it also lets you decide whether or not you want to buy this or not or if you want to check it out at your library you know because like i said i'm not doing every page because that's a lot of pages to go through i want to you know give you like a head you know like a good run of what's in here so you understand what you're going to run into 
But like I said, it's similar to the Marvel Encyclopedia of 2019. But this one's three years old, so... You know, this one isn't, you know, as up to date. We're almost done. And I do love the DC Universe, but... I don't know. I mean, I don't hate DC. I love DC. I grew up on DC. I grew up on Batman and shit. And last person in here that they have it up to from Magog. They have it all the way up from Magog to Zuggernaut. Okay, so there's Wonder Woman looking all pretty. There's my toe. <laughs> Alright, so, that's it. And then there's the acknowledgments. And that's everybody who was included. I'm not going to go through that, it's too much. So let's just... Uh, let's start at the... There, we'll start at page 10. And we'll just work our way through, shall we? So, when you go into this, you get, you know... You have first characters up here, and then you get a little bio about them. You get the details about them. You get the number of uh, people involved. Little mini artwork as well from it. And it's fun. And there's more detail on it, on a whatever hero hero or villain is you get where they debuted what universe their base powers and abilities their allies their enemies their affiliations so when you go through this that's what you can expect on most of these entries some of them if it's a single character you get their height their weight their eyes their hair uh their real name Maybe even a last name if they have it. Where they debuted. Their current version as well. Which is really cool. So yeah. That's what you get to expect in a book like this. And this is a huge ass book. Now, let's see, here we go. Aquaman has a two page spread. I think. Or it might even be more. Nope. Two page. So you have gorgeous artwork. By all the artists. That contributed to DC Comics. Over the years. From Jeff Johns to Alex Ross to um, Stefan uh, Sedvik, Sedgic, I um, know I'm butchering his fucking name. His name is S T E P H A N S J. E V I C. I follow him on Twitter. He's cool as hell. He did work on uh, Dark Knight's Metal. That's some cool ass artwork there. So yeah, and the ones that are you know single characters, they get a full page. So they'll have you know their data, you know a little mini mini bio and all that. Uh, choice pick. Oof. You know, fun fact. And then there's also on the record, which shows up for uh, some of the bigger names, give or take. You get their classic stories. You get uh, who they ran with. And there's the outlaws right there. So that's what you can expect with a lot of different characters in this book. Now, some of these have multiple pages. I'm trying to find one that has multiple pages attached to it. Okay, Batman should have the most. Or close to it. Bingo! Yeah. Alright, Batman, he has one. He has two. He has three, four, five. Well, four. So, the main, main Batman has four pages to him alone so now you know what to expect with that
And this is gorgeous ass artwork. Like you can see all the artwork for yourself. Like it's just it's phenomenal. Some pages it'll be, you know, it'll be like this, and then you'll have, you know, four of them at the bottom or whatever. Or however they decide to do it. Or you'll have two on one page. It all depends on how they've set it up. But for the most part, this is a good book. DC Comics really did bring it with this book. I like it. So, this covers, like I said before, it covers up to 2016. It, go, it covers from a gog to Zuggernaut. And I showed you the index, which was pretty much the beginning of the fucking video. So, now you know what to expect. <laughs> it's Constantine. Cord Owls. Yeah, I don't even have to zoom in for this because if you're watching this on your TV, you won't you'll see how deep this is. Or cyborg. Deadshot, death stroke. I like the way Deadshot looks. Doomsday. I still wish they would have put like, you know, how to pronounce stuff in books. That would help a lot. But, oh well. Forever People, Rick Flag. General Zod. Green Lantern. I think this has a lot of pages. Yeah, it's got a couple attached. And they also go into key events as well. And it also, like, with the, like, since it's a faction, like the Green Lantern Corps, um, you know, it shows you who's currently, uh, involved and whatnot. Some of the events they've gone through. And there's also quotes as well, scattered throughout. So you just have to find them. And then they show you who is who in the Green Lantern Corps. And there's the original, there's on the record for the original Green Lantern Corps. Oh, I remember that. I was in the Sinister Corps War. Yep, that was a badass story. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so, moving on, we got Harley Quinn. Beautiful two-page spread on her. Was that Our Man? <laughs> I made a joke about this motherfucker. Uh, like, his power is he can go back in time for one hour and talk to his daddy. On my voicemail years ago when I had a track phone... I made it, <laughs> he's like, I go back in time and he rapes me for an hour. <laughs> that shit was funny. There's all the hour ends. Oh, that's who Rex Tyler is. Okay. Alright, cool. I remember from DC Legends of Tomorrow, I didn't know who the fuck he was. Now I know. <sighs> That's about where I stopped watching the show, too, because I just, I lost interest. And you got the Justice League themselves. Just the Society of America. I actually have that mofo's action figure. Yep. I do. I like that version. Killer Croc. And then it'll be pages like this where it has eight on there, so you have... You know, your top four, and your bottom four. Bunch of dust in the book. <laughs> Lex Luthor. 
So yeah, we're making good time in this. Miss Marvel. Oh, Mary Marvel. My bad. <laughs> Close enough. Mara. So this cover 2016. What the fuck happened in 2016? All oh, the Dark Side War. That's right. Yeah. Dark Side War. That was pretty cool. Took me forever to finish it. Because I couldn't find the third book. <laughs> I had to roam the hell out of Arena to find it. Drew me nuts. So yeah, this is a damn good book. Like, if you're looking to add to your comic collection, this is a must. I would recommend, I, my friends are Marvel or DC or they're both. It's whatever. Uh, so yeah, they probably have this copy. Maybe, I don't know. Would I recommend it to you? Yeah, of course. I highly recommend it to you. You know, I mean, this is the current one that's out. I don't know if they did one for this year or not. I didn't look. I would imagine maybe they did. I don't know. Raven. Red Hood. Ray. <laughs> Red Lantern Corps. Robin. Robin will have a huge section, obviously. Because there are so many incarnations of Robin. Oh, they all did it on two pages. Nice. <laughs> Scarecrow. Secret, no, Secret Society of Supervillains. It's pretty cool. I mean, they have everything. Everything's in here up to 2016, so I don't remember everything that happened in 2016 because it's been a while. <laughs> a lot of shit, though. Solomon Grundy, he looks fucking vicious. <laughs> Who is she? Oh yeah, Silver St. Cloud. Cool. <laughs> Star girl. Oh, Starfire. <laughs> Caught myself. I actually like her design. It looks a lot better and neater and clean versus this hypersexualized version they had a few years back that I remember. John Stewart. Suicide Squad. Superboy. Supergirl. Superman. He'll have, uh, it's, yeah. Got a couple of pages for his ass. And then that's it. For him. Natalia Al Ghul. You know, if you're not a DC fan, this isn't a book for you. It's really not. Um, this doesn't cover Vertigo comics. I should have said that in the beginning because I didn't think about that. Yeah, this doesn't cover anything from DC spinoff companies at all. This just covers DC in general. There's, uh, Vixen. Damn good character. I like her a lot. She's cool as hell. <laughs> you got Wrath. Yeah, Wonder Girl, the Wizard, Shazam's Wizard, Wonder Woman, and all her many artistic versions. I like that one the most because that looks more regal and in depth.
Wow, she's short. Holy shit. She's only six foot and 165. Huh. I thought she was like 6'2". Or 6'4", at least, or something. Wow. That was something I brought up that almost every character that you come across in comics is like under six foot, give or take, unless they're, um, whatchamacallit, I forget. Alright, so here comes Roll Call. This is a special section. This is, uh, it's DC Comics is populated with a myriad of memorable characters. The DC Comics Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia presents as many of these as possible, and Roll Call spotlights some of the more notable players who round out that rich and diverse universe. So the text is by Steve Court, or Corte, I guess. So, so do these row by row. Yeah, I think they'll do another one in 2020, to be honest, because so many events have happened since 2016 that they need to do a revamp. A reissue, I should say. So, that'll be nice. Because if they do a reissue in 2020, it'll include Dark Knight's Metal and everything that happened after, well, before that. And stuff. <laughs> Bofunga! Love that motherfucker. One second here. Ah. Uh. That's better. It's a lot of names in here. I like this is fun, but damn. So yeah, this is pretty much the end of the book, since we'll be coming up on where I left off. <sighs> so yeah, this is a good book. I really like it. I do want to get it, but I'll probably wait until they put out another one next year and go from there. <sighs> Come on. Fuck. Damn. Stupid pages. Technical difficulties, as always. <laughs> so. You know, if you missed anything, you know, just go back with this and pause. And you can catch up. You never realize how many characters there are in a universe until you get a book that encases all of them. <laughs> and also, you know, some of these characters, they'll get killed off for whatever reason. And usually that's just to make more room because you can't have every character attached. 
Because if you had every character, the shit would never end. But, eh, shit happens. So, it's always exciting. Come on. So I hope you enjoyed this book. I hope you enjoyed this review. I know I'm enjoying it because this is a lot of fun for me. Because, you know, I rent shit. You know, always check your library. You know, if you like this book a lot and you want to see more, check your local library. Guaranteed they should have it in stock. If you don't know what a library is, maybe you should look that up on Google. There's Zug or not. <laughs> And we're back to the index. So, that is that. So, whew, that was fun and exciting and educational. So, that is all I'm doing for tonight. Maybe I'll do some sunset. I don't know yet. I gotta see what it does. So, oof, till next time, like and subscribe. Thoughts and prayers.